planning your next post-COVID vacation? Be prepared with the help and expert advice of the Travel Guys. Hello and welcome to The Travel Guys, our weekly show with what's new and what's happening in the wonderful world of travel. And today we're talking the Cook Islands and my guest today, I'm delighted to have along is Donna Watson. Hi Donna. Hi Mike. Nice to meet you again. Donna is the New Zealand representative for the Pacific Resort Hotel Group, which is a group of four lovely properties in the Cook Islands. And we had Graham West on last week to talk about the Cooks as a destination. And it's great to have you along today to talk about four, what I think are the most gorgeous properties on the island. I really do. Um, but just before we do, just a reminder of the Cooks, it's such an easy place to get to. It's one of those greatest attributes, I think. Again, how long and um, how many flights there? under normal times. Right, yeah, so yeah, as you say, it's a very easy destination, the Cook Islands. It's a, a three and a half hour flight from Auckland. Um, and pre-COVID times, we had three airlines flying to the Cook Islands and we're hoping that we might have about the same number again post-COVID. Yep. Um, we shall wait and see what happens. Well, in New Zealand, definitely we be committing, of course. Uh, yes. And it'll be, I'm sure the pent up demand is be phenomenal. In fact, I spoke to a friend of mine in a travel insurance company just today he said the day that the Cooks announced, so I beg your pardon, the days that the Australian border announced they had their highest daily sale in the history of the company. Yeah. That pent up demand is there again. Absolutely. And yeah, yeah and not surprised, not surprised to hear that. So, yeah. yeah. But to me, the, the Cooks are such a perfect destination to get out of our for post COVID blues, to get rid of them, where else would be better than the Cooks? Exactly. And the Cooks has never had COVID. So, you know, it's in a very unique position over there that they haven't had to live in different levels of lockdowns. They've always had lovely freedoms yeah. over there and, um, and yeah, we hope that we can enjoy that when we're able to visit. Donna, I love your headdress. It just says to me the cooks are all about flowers and colour. Would that be fair to say? That would be fair to say, yes. People wear these for special occasions and I thought this was going to be a special occasion today. So and here you are. Yes. <laughs> Just before we talk about the properties, Donna, how about yourself? How did you get into the travel business and how did you get this wonderful role with the Pacific Group? Well, I've um, been lucky enough to be with Pacific Resort Hotel Group for over 10 years now, so wow. have seen some changes within the destination and, and the resorts. Um, yeah, obviously the travel industry is a, a passion and a um, uh, you know, you, you fall into the industry and you fall in love with it, really. Yeah. So. What were you doing before? The, what were you doing before? Were you still at school? Ha <laughs> uh, No. <laughs> no. Uh, so, yeah, prior to that, always been in the industry with various airlines and hotels. What does actually the job entail and what's, what, what is your role for the company? Well, I always say that I've got the best job in the world. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I am lucky enough that I can, um, I work with the trade, our trade partners, and I work with the consumers and um, basically do whatever is required to get people to come and visit our little piece of So paradise. by the trade, you mean the travel agents? Travel agents, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. travel agents, travel wholesalers, um, yeah, people in the, yep. in, in the industry. Do you talk to the consumers as well, to the public as well? About yes, so we attend various, you know, we attend consumer shows and we... Um, um, we like to showcase our website with a lot of our um, and, and our YouTube channels and our um, social media channels. Which just while we're talking, what is the website? It's www.pacificresort.com. Pacificresort.com. Mm. Okay. The Pacific Hotel Group. Um, it's relatively new. I mean, I've been to the Cooks a few times, and I was there a few years ago when it was travel was uh, sorry accommodation. It was sort of fairly rudimentary. Um, the actual group itself. How long has it been going? And it was, how did it start? 
Well, it all started actually over 30 years ago with um, Pacific Resort Rarotonga. Is so, it really that old? Yeah, well... Well, it sure doesn't show it. No, <laughs> it, it's changed a lot in okay. that time. Yeah. So it started off as a small property and yep. has grown into the property that you see today, which yep. is 64 rooms and um, villas, suites and um, many different room categories and types for different travellers. Yep. The gardens are amazing and some of those villas are just to die for as well. <laughs> um, is, was there a particular vision the owners had, do you know, relating to the way that the resort is presented? Yes, well our, um, our owners and directors, they are very passionate about their, their um, gardening and the garden, the garden is stunning there. Um, we also have a wonderful team of gardeners that are just um, incredibly dedicated to making the property look pristine. Some of the properties I've been to there they're just quite barren. I think this is ridiculous. This is the cooks. You can put a stick in the ground and it'll grow. Mm. And the, the, the lushness of the surrounding there at the, at the properties was really quite spectacular. And the beach, that absolute beachfront location is fantastic. Yeah, that's right. And actually all four of our properties have that running through as a theme. We have yeah. stunning stunning gardens and, and all complete beachfront as well. Okay. So. so we've got the Pacific Resort, which is 60 rooms, which is a, just... It's, it's big, but it's not too big. That's right. Yeah, yeah. good size. It yeah. is. And of course, you've got restaurant, all the usual things we, that, a, that a resort like that will have. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit about the island, which you need to remind, remind people. It's, is it 32 k's around? Yes, so yep. only 32 kilometres around. You can drive around it in 45 minutes if, you, if you're wanting to. Um, yeah, it's. Um, we have the bus service, which of course is the clockwise and anti clockwise. Just explain it again. One bus comes the other way, you can always, you'll end up where you've started. Started, yeah. 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 And that's also true from the airport. So, with, <coughs> from the airport, you're only ever 20 minutes from your hotel. Yeah. So, isn't that a nice way to start your holiday? You know, get yeah. those crystal clear waters and the, um, and the white sandy beaches the moment that you arrive. Okay, Donna, you've got four properties in the group. Um, let's start from the top, from the airport. First one we'll come to the Pacific Resort, correct? Pacific Resort Rarotonga is the first one that you will come to from the airport. It's only a 20 minute uh, drive and then you get to, to your resort where you can relax. Um, Pacific Resort Rarotonga is a four and a half star family friendly full service resort. So right in the heart of Murray Beach. So it's it's pretty lovely. And, is, and Murray Beach is so special, it is an extraordinary, it's a beautiful spot. Yeah, yep. white sandy so the, beaches and mm, crystal clear waters. Exactly, all the, all the, all the <laughs> platitudes, yeah, but they're true in that yes. particular case. So Pacific, that's the number one property, that's the first property in the group I understand. Yes, yep, yeah. That's 60 rooms. Mm -hmm. 64 rooms. 64 rooms, beg your pardon, <laughs> and you've got, you've got accommodation in the hotel and you've got suites and you've got Apartments, did you we've say? We've got villas as well. Villas so we've got two and three bedroom villas yep. within the resort. You've said it's family friendly, but of course, I'm sure it caters well to couples as well. Of course, we've got a stunning um, premium beachfront suites, which have just been refurbished last year. So yeah, they are ideal for, for couples, honeymooners. Um, we also do weddings at the property as well. So Is it an easy process to get married in the course? Oh, very easy. And that's that's the beauty of it, of course, yes. is that it's, and it's also legally binding, so you can legally get married in the Cook Islands. Um, yeah, very easy. Our team will just take care of everything for you. But the nice thing about it is that we will um, create a wedding that suits your personality and, and your... Great. It's, yeah. a, it's a really important um, market, the wedding market in the South Pacific. When somebody was telling, telling me the cost of an average wedding in Auckland is astronomical, mm -hmm. and so you can have your wedding and your honeymoon and bring a bunch of friends exactly. along for the same cost. Yeah, and yeah. destination weddings are very very special, you get to know each other very well. Yeah, very, <laughs> it's true. Okay, so that's your, the number one pro property, the big one, and then Timanava Villas. Tell us a little bit about that one, yes. that's the second one. So yeah, as you're driving around the island, you get, come to Timanava. It's um, a five-star villa complex. We only have 13 villas in the, um, in the property. Um, the beauty of this property is that it's for people who want space and privacy. Uh, every single villa is like a luxury holiday home. You get your own private swimming pool within the property. That is so cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they've all got full kitchen facilities, full laundry facilities, all of everything that you would expect um, in a luxury holiday okay. holiday home. There's not food there. and beverage on site. They can go out, but you can cook for yourself, and you're not part of. Yeah. There's so many restaurants on the island. As exactly. Well. So it's all about choice at Tamanava. So you can choose to uh, dine in your villa. It's self catering. You can choose to have a chef come into your I villa. I was just going to ask you that. Yeah, that's <laughs> that'd be cool. That would be yeah. fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's great options on Rarotonga. That's one of the beauties of the destination. Is you're not resort bound. There's loads of different cafes, bars, and restaurants you can choose from, and we encourage people to do that. Yeah. Um, and of course, because it's a sister property to Pacific.
Pacific Resort Rarotonga, you can actually dine at Pacific Resort and charge back to okay. your room there. We'll even take you down there if you want. If you're staying in Murray Beach, you can dine somewhere different every night yeah. with an easy, comfortable walking distance. That's important for, yeah. for, for some people. And also, the food is spectacular over there. They do, they do food incredibly well. And, and everything from, you know, you can get a pizza or takeaways and eat it on the beach to, to fine dining. There is, is everything that you yeah. can... Okay, we've covered Pacific Resort and Tamanama, and we move around the island, and what comes next? So we've got Little Polynesian Resort, which is just further around, um, and this is a stunning property. So this is, um, it's actually a very special property. It's got a lot of a history and um, a lot of cultural significance has sort of been woven into this property. It's all about the romance at Little Polly. So um, we're 18 years and over here, so true adults only property. And with only 14 rooms, um, it's, as the name suggests, little and special. <laughs> I can vouch for it. I've actually still had lunch there. I didn't stay. I just see, I visit. <laughs> I don't even get, get the chance to stay. But wow, what a gorgeous property. And I know of the history there because Doris Reed was a famous lady on the Cook Islands mm -hmm. and she was an extraordinary personality. Mm -hmm. I was, had the pleasure of meeting her a number of occasions. And it was Doris's baby when she built it. It was mm -hmm. quite simple, of course. The basic premise of Little Polly yeah. was maybe two and a half, three star, but in this stunning location, one of the most beautiful locations on the island. And then Doris had it built and then it was dramatically changed. And when I went back, my jaw just dropped. It's the, the transformation from a comfortable little, as I mm. said, two and a half, three star property yeah. to a true five star. Yeah. And the size of the units is enormous. And the, the way they set out, it just completely, the hackneyed phrase, it did blow me away. Yeah. And it was so lovely to see Doris, as, as she sadly no longer with us. Mm. Um, but I believe there's still family um, history attached to the resort from oh, Doris? Absolutely, yes. So, um, yeah, both of her nieces have worked for us um, up until very recently and I'm very aware of the, the history of the resort and um, everything that we do there has a, a, a cultural significance. And, we, yeah, we are lucky that Doris's nieces have both been working That's for us. That's very special. Yeah. Um, actually, I've got to say that the little restaurant there, one of the best lunches I can remember having in anywhere in the South Pacific. Yeah. It was just impeccably presented, very simple, but just and simplicity can be great at some stages. It, it's right. Yeah, well, the great thing about that restaurant is where it's located on the island. Yeah. Actually, the resort um, in general is quite unique because it's located where you can see both the sunrise and the sunset. Oh, that's right. Over that was the, pointed out to me. I forgot that yeah, point. Yeah, over the ocean, which yeah. is, is pretty incredible. And there's spectacular sunrises and sunsets that's too. for sure. You mentioned it's over 18, adult only. It's interesting. Do you feel, do you feel that market's growing for the, for the South Pacific and more particularly to the cooks? Well, yes, I do. I mean, there's definitely going to be a market of people that would rather not have children. <laughs> I can <laughs> certainly vouch for that. <laughs> I've been around long enough to yeah. know that, that, yeah. And the nice thing about these adults only properties and Little Polynesian in particular is that it's it creates a sense of luxury yep. and it creates a sense of space and tranquility. There's a, there's a great, there's a place for kids and family properties. Yeah. There's a place for couples to be quiet and peaceful. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, yeah. I, I think that it's a growth market. As I mentioned earlier about the the um, intergenerational market, mm. and of course you've got that covered with the villas mm. and I think it's great. You've got, well, you've got all markets We've covered. Got you've got covered. family markets, you've got the villas for couples and for extended families mm -hmm. and then you've got their family, owned, the adult home there at, at Little Poly. At Little Polynesia. And yeah. as I said, it's all about the romance here. We get a lot of special occasions, uh, visitors, so we get a lot of people celebrating the zero birthdays or the anniversaries, and of course, honeymooners. Now, that's well. a growth market, the zero birth, the, naughty, <laughs> the naughties birthdays yes. are somewhere in the 30s, 40s, 50s and 60s. Yes. Yeah, that definitely is a growth market. Mm. Again, you relate the cost of having a big party here in Auckland as to take 10 of your closest exactly. friends or family up to the islands. It mm. works out. So finally, we come out to Aitutaki, the magical island of Aitutaki, and your property there. Tell us a little bit about that one as well. So Pacific Resort Aitutaki, well, the destination of Aitutaki is, is very special. It's the sort of place that you get to and you just take a deep breath and it just feels like everything is slower and, and oh, just relax. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's very relaxing. And then you get to our resort, which is a five-star property, member of Small Luxury Hotels. Um, just explain Small Luxury Hotel Group. That is, a, is it a world, worldwide group, is it? Yes, so yeah. it's, yeah, exactly. So it's a group. So although we don't have any 
um, chains in the Cook Islands. We do have our two properties, which is Little Polynesian Resort and Pacific Resort Aitutaki, who are members of small luxury hotels. So it gives us that international recognition okay. for when international visitors can visit again. <laughs> of course, yeah. And Aitutaki is so popular. It's interesting, it's very popular with the Australian market. Or should I say that? I'm sure we keep <laughs> mind, mind sharing it with Australians. <laughs> but it is, it's, what, it's about a 45 minute flight out, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so Aitutaki. you fly on Air Rarotonga out yeah. to, to Aitutaki. That's a great spectacular flight in itself because, um, uh, sorry, viewers may not be aware, there's actually 15 islands in the Cook Islands and you do fly across a couple of them on the way to Aitutaki and even just seeing the reefs and the water and the colour of the water, that's spectacular. Oh, yeah. But it, there is something extraordinary about Aitutaki and I, I mentioned this when I was talking with Graham, but uh, I had an afternoon there of just totally chilling. I've been mean, a really busy trip. Yes, it was busy. I was on business <laughs> to the Cooks and I did work hard, but just floating around in that stunning lagoon mm. and just having the odd beer or two or three. And <laughs> it was one of those most magical, peaceful afternoons. And uh, it's a stick in my mind t from t 10 years ago. Yeah. There's something about that island, it really is. And your property, I've seen it from the outside, but it looks gorgeous. It is genuine five star. Yes. Yeah. And it's one of those places that you truly do need to visit to, to understand the true beauty of it. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, a day on Aitutaki Lagoon is, is memorable. It is, I agree. <laughs> and the snorkeling, it's, I should stress, the snorkeling is great right throughout the Cooks and mm. any, and also game fishing. Someone who's raised that mm. question with me um, a while ago, and it's, yes, it's game fishing, great game fishing there, because once you're outside the lagoon, you're out into open water, so the big pelagic species mm. aren't that too far away. So at Pacific Resort Aitutaki, you get um, 1.5 kilometres of pristine beachfront. All of our villas, uh, all of our rooms are complete um, individual beachfront rooms. That it's luxury personified. Is it couples only or is it families? Or is uh, it we're gym? actually, well, again, prior to COVID, we were um, welcoming guests 12 and over. Okay. Uh, and that was because we were getting a lot of business from Europe. But oh. um, of course, we're not anymore. And so with New Zealand and then maybe Australia being our key markets for a wee while, we have opened it back up to families because we feel that there are New Zealand families that would love to travel there. Absolutely. <laughs> OK. Well, we've got our four beautiful properties to stay. Any, any plans of any expansion, any new properties on the horizon as far as you know? Not at this stage, no. So um, good yeah. enough. Yeah, yeah we've, we're just going to see what happens after COVID and um, sure. watch the space. But yeah, we have done a lot of work on the resorts in the last 12 months so the team have been very busy during the last um yeah yes. <laughs> well where, we did, where has it gone yeah yeah no. exactly yeah. so yeah it's been they haven't certainly haven't been idle i bet they have <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay so we've got a place to stay just a quick snapshot of what there is to do in the cooks i mean it's fairly obvious you're going to swim and you're going to snorkel but you mentioned whales that's really interesting that's a very important point what other, other aspects can you can you think of that we should tell the uh, viewers about? The whale watching season is um, between July and November, uh, with the peak seasons being around September or yep. October. Um, there's lots of activities. If you're looking for something to do, you will find something to do. There is um, there's deep sea fishing, there's bone fishing on Aitutaki, which is very popular, um, kite surfing. Um, on Rarotonga itself, people often forget that we've got these beautiful mountains in, um, in Rarotonga. Now here's a challenge for you. Have you walked across the top? <laughs> no, either have I. I. I had Graham and he said he's done it five or six times. Oh, yeah, of course But he's he ridiculously has. fit. Which, yeah. yeah. No, but that looks spectacularly high. I have high. intentions of doing Me too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> So yeah, um, people do forget that we have this beautiful mountain. You can, there's safari tours that take you in. There's wonderful uh, cycling tours that you can do. And uh, we yeah. always say it's, you know, the whole island is your playground. 
Okay, no, we've covered the properties. They all look gorgeous. Yes, I want to go and stay at all of them. Um, but you can have the best properties in the world and staff aren't up to that level. You've got problems. Tell us a little bit about your staff. Well, our staff are what makes our properties unique. So we have got the best team yeah. <laughs> in, the, in the South Pacific, I believe. Um, our, they're all colourful characters. They're all genuinely wanting to do their very best to make that, sure that our guests have the most memorable and most enjoyable stay. Oh, that, well, in my impression at times in the Cooks, I like the fact that it's, it's a, it's a low-key welcome. It's not that effusive, but you, it's always genuine. Very and you genuine. feel welcomed yeah. without people climbing all over you, trying to sell you something or, or do yes. whatever. Yeah. That's what I like about the Cooks. And it's yeah, nice. That's right. That you're, you're there as, as their guest and as a visitor, and they're there to help you enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. Sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> Yeah. You, bone, but you mentioned bone fishing. It's fascinating. Mm. I read an article once about a couple of Americans who, before, I, I didn't know anything about it at all, but they went to New Caledonia and then they drove for eight hours and they got in a, in a four wheel drive for three hours and then they got in the boat for an hour and a half. And then they slept in these little tents and wow. uh, it was costing them like three or four thousand dollars US a day just to catch bonefish, which wow. you can't eat. And no. Yeah, they're about <laughs> the size really. of a car wire or a trail, yes. but apparently they're the greatest fighting fish pound for pound, etc. That's right. And it's always fascinating. People will come to Aitutaki yeah. from the States just to bonefish. That is exactly right. And you can't eat them and no, you can't do anything. No. It's fascinating. Yeah, so yeah, certainly something worth trying if you're, if you're into it. <laughs> That's what you want to do, yeah. <laughs> Okay, well, we've covered four lovely resorts. I just thought maybe we might just finish with, a, on your website, I picked up, you've got 10 fun facts oh, right. about okay. the cook. So let's have a quick talk <laughs> about that. Um, no multinational chains. I think that's a fairly important factor. You haven't got hundreds and hundreds of rooms and all the and her crowding that goes with it. Yeah. It comprises 15 islands, and I've mentioned that before. And I, 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 but the one of Achu, the island of Achu, fascinates me. I'm, right. I'm going to get there one day. Um, they have the best cafe vibes. Well, I don't know if that's a, a fact, but I think it's, a, it's very <laughs> that's subjective. That's a very strong opinion. <laughs> yes, but there are lots of nice cafes in the main town, it's true. Yes. I love this one. No building can be taller than a coconut tree. What a cool statement that is. Yeah. yeah. May that long, can, may, long may that continue. Mm. And I didn't know this either. Ajitaki was the location of a season of Survivor back in 2006. You're just going to pick a location. Wow. Why not? Wow. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Produces incredible black pearls. I forgot that too. Of course they do. There's, they do. Uh, they're stunning. Mm. Scooters are the best form of transport. I actually query that one. I think they're great and they're very they're cheap and they're fun, but you don't want to fall off one. <laughs> well, no, you don't want to fall off one. And I'm pleased to see now that they have made helmets. Compulsory. Compulsory, yeah. No, that's, yeah. There's a wonderful picture that Cook Islands Tourism used to have of these two elderly ladies the with aunties. huge grins on their face. The aunties, that's mm. right. It was magical. It really mm. was. Cook Islands, anyways, this is a subjective one. Cook Islanders are the best dancers in the world. Oh, I'm sure the Tahitians <laughs> might have a little word to say about yeah, that. Possibly. But you're so closely... <laughs> We're <laughs> <that related. point. laughs> Exactly, yeah. And um, I like this home to the most beautiful flowers in the world. Well, I wouldn't argue with that one. Yeah, and that's, um, you know, the season... That's also a reason why I love travelling in around about September, October, November, because all the flowers are out in beautiful bloom. Just, the flame yeah. trees, the, you know, French panis, the, yeah. And the, the smell to go with yeah. it is just spectacular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no. I'm, yeah. I'm the same. And that's the worst time to be in New Zealand as well. So what better <laughs> place? Jump in a plane three and a half hours away and you're in a real in paradise. paradise. Yeah. yeah. Now, pr to book for the cooks, all the travel agents have all the packages and deals for your properties, correct? Absolutely. So, yes. So, you can book through your tra uh, favourite travel agent or you can go on onto our website, pacificresort.com, and um, have a look at some of our great offers. We like to encourage people to stay a little longer, you know. Yep. So, just relax and stay a little longer. So, therefore, our specials encourage that too. The longer you stay, the better deal you're going to get. Donna, my, one of my special moments was, as I said, floating around in the, uh, the uh, lagoon in, in Aitutaki, special afternoon. If you, what's a special moment for you in your time in the Cooks? Well, I've also had um, many special days out on Aitutaki Lagoon, but for me it would probably be bringing my family up for a holiday to Pacific Resort Rarotonga. We've yep. had many wonderful family moments and, um, and holidays there. I've um, also travelled with my parents 
with our extended family up there, so so that. But what I'm looking forward to most is when the kids have left home and I can go up just with my husband and stay <laughs> at Little Polynesian Resort with no kids inside. Sounds good to me too. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for coming in, Don. It's been great to have you on. You've made me want to go back again <laughs> and I'd actually stay with one of your properties and just visit it. Yes, so, be lovely to have you. Thanks very yes. much for coming along. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Cheers. <laughs>